we got a little bit of work to do. Last video didn't do so hot, didn't play so good. So today we're gonna try to make it up. We are rocking out with a choice band Dragapult Shen Pao team. Been seeing this team all across the rank ladder, went up against it a few times, and it just looks amazing. Everybody loves Dragapult, super cool Pokemon, super cool design. So we're gonna be rocking out with it on the rank ladder and looking for a winning record for you guys. You guys already know the deal. If you do enjoy the content anytime, make sure you support me as a content creator by leaving a like on today's video. And if you're not subscribed to the channel, what are you doing? Click that big red subscribe button, join the Jeans community, help me push 20,000 subscribers. It really goes a long way. So again, huge shout out to all of my subscribers. But we got Palafin for our first Pokemon. The Palafin is top tier. Gave us the working and ripped into me in the last video because it is just that guy. Palafin is him. He is definitely him. If you get that swap out, get it in the hero form, it comes in the back end and just does work. It's got Mystic Water as its ability, or not its ability, as its item, Protect, Wave Crash, Jet Punch, and Haze as its moveset. Arcanine is going to be our second Pokemon, or as I like to call it, Old Reliable. It's got Intimidate, it's got Safety Goggles, Protect, E-Speed, Will-O-Wisp, Flare Blitz. Loving this moveset for a Shen Pao team. Our third Pokemon is going to be Amoongus. Great little support Pokemon and really strong in that trick room. It's got Regenerator, the Citrus Berry as item, Rock and Protect, Rage Powder, Sport, and Pollen Puff. Nothing you guys haven't seen before. Fourth Pokemon is going to be Choice Band Dragapult. Pair up this Choice Band Dragapult with Shen Pao, he's going to be able to do a ridiculous amount of damage. Plus, his speed's already high enough, so it can outspeed pretty much any Pokemon. It's got Phantom Force, Dragon Arch, U Turn, and Terror Blast, which will change into a Steel type move because Terror type is Steel. Fifth Pokemon, Shen Pao, the one legendary for this team with Swords of Ruin and the Focus Ash as item, Rocket Sucker Punch, Ice Spinner for two stab moves, Sacred Sword for coverage, and Protect for its last move. Final Pokemon on this team is going to be probably one of the most used Pokemon within Series 3. It's going to be fun, man. I feel like it's on every single team. Shen Pao teams, Ting Lu teams, Wu Chen teams, and of course, Chi Yu teams because Fluttermane is Chi Yu's best friend. It has Protosynthesis, the booster energy as item, Dazzle Gleam, Shadow Ball, Moon Blast Protect. Really can't go wrong with Fluttermane on any team. Guys, if you want to rent the team for yourself, rental code is at the top right hand corner, but let's get after it. Let's hop on that rank double ladder. Let's grab some wins with this Choice Band Dragapult Shen Pao team. First match coming at you guys, going up against the Ting Lu team. So, good thing that we have a nice little physical attacking team. They also have Baxcalibur, Amoongus, Pelipper, Gyarados for Intimidate. Gyarados is probably going to come in here. So, we got to watch out for him. And then, last but not least, they are rocking Grimstar, who it looks like they're probably going to lead. So, in this case, I might just lead to Fluttermane and Palafin. Try to get that Palafin back because everybody knows Palafin's beast. And then kind of just go from there. So, Fluttermane, Palafin, I really like Shen Pao. And then I'm thinking just Dragapult. Dragapult's him. He's him with that speed. Let me see the speed right here. Let's see that speed. 207. God dang, you cooking. You cooking with that choice band of high attack. I really like Dragapult here. So let's lock it in. Let's lock it down. Let's like grab ourselves someone here in match number one. But Gyarados, I'm a little afraid of, right? The intimidates, all that good stuff can really get me going. Uh, Ting Lu's not a bad Pokemon, but I feel like once we kind of get uh, Palfin out there, he can get ripping into that. And then plus we have Shen Pao. Shen Pao can do some work onto it. But here's the lead, Grimstone and Baxcalibur, so Fluttermane is actually a perfect lead here. I really like, I really like Fluttermane here. Dazzle Gleam's gonna be able to do a great chunk of damage. Alright, let's get it, Fluttermane. So from here, I'm thinking I might just hard swap. Do I hard swap or do I maybe do some damage? Hard swap is definitely gonna be to play. So who do I go into, Shen Pao or Polt? I kinda like Polt here. Or not Polt, I kinda like uh, Shen Pao. I don't want the Ice move coming in here, the Fairy moves. I'm down to just go Shen Pao with the hard swap. And then from here, I could Terra and just rip a Gleam. Probably my best bet, right? Rip a Gleam. Yeah, Baxcalibur's probably going to Terrasilize. And then we'll kind of just go from there. But yeah, Terrasilizing is going to be our move here. I'm with it all day. I'm with it all day. So we get the Palafin swap. We got our big boy in the back end now. Love it. Love, dude. I love Palafin. Palafin is just amazing. It's so good. Shen Pao's going to come out here. Love with little Shen Palski. Love that design on that Pokemon, and he's going to Terrasilize. Well, that's me Terrasilizing, but I definitely think he's going to Terrasilize Baxcalibur, right? It makes the most sense. Probably set up a light screen here as well, but we're going to end up Terrasilizing. This is just our best bet here. We have two Pokemon that we're super effective up against. Might as well get that boost of fairy damage out about. So let's see what typing they go into. Yeah, that's got to be Baxcalibur, no doubt in my mind. Probably Fire Baxcalibur. A lot of them have been Fire recently. Ground too. I've seen a few Ground. This one's just going to be nice little Poison. That's a really good typing. But I have my boy here. Get some work put down onto it. So let's see. See, is Light Screen gonna come out here? No, he's gonna parting shot turn one, and it does not affect my Shen Pao because we're dark. That's actually a decent, decent turn from us because this might kill the Grimstone. 
It does. We get rid of Grimmsnarl. No support on his side. That's huge. No screens. No parting shots. Really solid turn from us. Really solid. And this thing's just going to D-dance up. Okay. That's kind of annoying, but we might just double down into it. Do I double down into it? That's, that would be a problem, right? Hmm. I could throw a sucker punch into that. But Gyarados is going to come out here. Gyarados, come on, man. Leave me alone. Leave me alone, Gary. So Intimidate comes out here. Hmm. We don't have Terra for pull, but we do have Jet Punch, which could be really, really good for us. So from here, I'm thinking of just protecting you and throwing a Shadow Ball into Bax Calibre slot. Hmm. One Icicle Spear could do me really, really bad. But I'm still going to do this. I should throw a... Uh, no, not a Moonblast. Shadow Ball is better. I was going to say, I should just throw a Moonblast into Gyarados, but I feel like we have to get after this, this thing here. But Icicle Spear is just going to KO me, so... A little tough right there. You're looking a little tough. But that gives me time to actually bring out my Palaf in here with Shen Pao on its side. Which I do like. Or I could just go into. Or I could just go into, uh, what's it called? Dragapult here. But the thing is, Dragapult probably doesn't outspeed him. Which is a little bit of an issue for us. Just a little bit of an issue. So I'm going to go into Palaf in here. I'm going to try doubling down into Max Caliber slot here. Sucker Punch, Jet Punch. Right into him just to get rid of him. And then we can kind of go from there. That's exactly what I'm doing. Because I really want to get rid of this Pokemon. Not Wave Crash, Jet Punch. So let's do it. Hopefully, no protection from Back to Caliber. No, he just ends up withdrawing the Gyarados, showcasing its final Pokemon. It's going to be Amoonga. So he probably protected this turn. I'm not even going to lie. He's probably protecting this turn. Yeah. Hurts the soul. Hurts the soul. I still want a Jet Punch into it, but he's probably going to swap. Do I swap Shen Pao here? Swapping Shen Pao could be the play. Thing is, I just don't. Oh man. Hmm. Because he could rage power the shot too. I think we just stay in here and we go ice spinner. I'm gonna try to haze this. I probably should have done that last turn. I'm gonna try to haze that dragon dance off of him. Really help us out tremendously. I should have done that last turn. Because if he swaps into Gyarados here and we haze it, that could be a really solid turn from us. Which he might end up doing. Or he might just stay in here with Amoogus. We shall see. Definitely shouldn't have hazed last turn. I don't know why I didn't think of that. Just dropped a nice, lovely haze. But Ice Spinner flies. He opts to stay in here with Amoogus. Look, can probably put one of my Pokemon to sleep. We do some nice damage. He's going to go for another Dragon Dance. So this haze is money. He's probably like, yo, I just set up a plus two Dragon Dance. I'm going to win this match. Nah, son, yo, we hazing out of everything off of you. But he's putting one of my Pokemon to sleep, right? Or he might be palm puffing his uh, Bax Calibur. Which I wouldn't mind. And he is going to palm puff him. That's fine, because I can Ice Spinner you down, and I can start ripping with a, with a Wave Crash here, actually. I can actually rip him with a Wave Crash. Might even swap Amoongus here, which I wouldn't be surprised to see, but I'm still going to throw Ice Spinner. And I'm going to go into Wave Crash. The reason I'm doing that is because we outspeed now. And yeah, there's Withdrawal of Amoongus. You get off an Intimidate. That's fine. I can potentially Jet Punch you next turn. We'll kind of just go from there. All right, so Solid Haze from a Palafin. Solid match from one. It's a really good match from us. Intimidate coming out here. We still have Pull, and Pull is now fastest on the field, which is very, very good for us. Out comes an Ice Spinner. Chunking up a decent amount of damage. And that thing is Rocky Helmet. Icicle Spear is going to fly here, and you're able to soak. That a boy. That a boy. I really like that. Really, really like that. So, now with Intimidate out here, it's kind of doing me a little dirty, but I think we should be fine here. We got Sucker Punches ready to roll. I just got to see how much damage this Wave Crash does. Wave Crash coming in hot here. Love you, Backscalber. Or not Backscalber. Love you, Palfin. That's some good damage. So, we get off a nice chunk of damage. I think Sucker Punch would KO either or, right? I think we might just want to Ice Spinner you down. That's exactly what I'm going to do. I'm going to Ice Spinner this slot down, and I'm just going to go for the Jet Punch into the back scalper slot. Just get rid of it, even though I think it might even protect. But just goes for the swap. Okay. All right, say less. Drops out of Moongus here. I have Pult in the back end. Pult's going to be fast. It's going to be fast. Jet Punch, not going to do too much damage, but a little bit of damage is fine. Ice Spinner's going to come in here, pick up some nice damage. And what is Garrus going for? It's a real question. What are you going for? I get one more turn if you don't hit me here. He's going to go for an Iron Head and he's going to drop me. I don't mind this. I really don't mind this. 
I do not mind this. Now I pull out the Dragapult. I could choice into a U-turn. Which might have to be my play. Actually, no, it's... Uh, never mind. I was going to say, U-turn should be super effective on him, but he's part poison. Okay. So with Pult Jr., I could choice into... Dra I could choice into Dragon Arts. Probably be better for me, right? Dragon Arts all the way. Yeah. I'm going to choice into Dragon Arts, and I'm just going to go for a... I might just haze this turn. Or I might just wave crash the Moogus. I'm going to wave crash the Moogus. This Dragon Dart should finish off the Gyarados. Yep, see you later. Choice ban coming out here. And I'm not worried about Bax Calibre. I mean, Ice Shard is definitely a possibility. But at that point, we have Jet Punch ready to go. And wave crash might be able to KO here. It does. Yeah, beautiful. Match number one to your boy. We absolutely ripped it here. Solid, solid match from us. Actually, Palafin's Haze really clutched it up for, for us. Really did clutch it up for us, because Dragon Dance Plus 2, we were, that was L City for us. We were L, we were the mayor of L City at that point. At that point in the game, I was like, oh no, we are screwed. And I was like, wait a minute, I got Haze. Let me Haze it up, take away all the stat changes, and just win that match. So, from here, I'm just going to Dragon Darts. I'm just going to Jet Punch. Can't, can't be stopped. Cannot be stopped. Jet Punch comes in hot here. See you later, Baxcalibur. 1-0 for today's video. Second match coming at you guys. Let's keep it going here. 1-0 to get us started. We're looking to go 2-0. We're going up against a Quiver Knight and Garchomp team. No legendaries. Okay. Just realized that. But they also have Fluttermane, Palafin, Arcanine, and Amoogus. All top tier meta Pokemon. So, definitely got to be on my A game here. Got to bring out Palafin here. I feel like Palafin's just the guy, right? Palafin's the guy. They have Palafin. I have Palafin. If they bring it out, I got to bring it out, right? It's like top tier so we got to do it we got to do it so palfin is going to be our lead alongside with arcanine could be really good i really like arcanine here i could lead it with arcanine but mirror armor is a thing on corviknight and corviknight might be a pokemon that they lead but in that case we could just flare blitz into it but then we're minus one it's it's, it's tough news but i can willow us i can also willow us hmm do i go shen pal maybe for a lead i don't mind shen pal hmm I don't mind Fluttermane either. I definitely want Shen Pao out here. But again, Intimidate, a little bit of a problem. So maybe I'll just go Fluttermane for the lead. But I do think they're going to lead Corbinite. We just have a bunch of problems on our hands. We just have a bunch of problems. Maybe I could go, you know, we're going to go Arcanine here. We're going to go Shen Pao. And then do I go Dragapult or do I go Fluttermane? I think Dragapult can get a lot of value out of this, right? I like Dragapult here. I really do. So I'm going to lock it in. I'm going to lock it in. I just feel like Corviknight's a problem. Hopefully our opponent doesn't bring it, but if they see what I see, it's just like Corviknight's got to come in here as lead. Mirror Armor's going to be really good. They're going to intimidate us. But at the same time, I feel like I'm just going to use Arcanine for uh, intimidate burn kind of situations. Especially with all the physical attackers on the field. So we'll see who they end up leading. Probably Palafin just like us. Palafin, Corviknight, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They, they, they see what I've seen. They see what I see. So Mirror Armor's are probably going to intimidate me. We intimidate their palafin, which is good for us. And yeah, okay. I feel you. I feel you. Okay, so from here, uh, I could haze everything off the field if I want to. But I just feel as a hard swap is our best bet. Into you? Yeah, I kind of like into you. So yeah, I'm going to go into Shen Pao here. And I'm just going to throw a Will-O-Wisp into this slot. Even though he might jet punch me, do I Terrasalize and I'm flying? I don't really think so. I don't really think. I think we think we just both swap our palafins, right? Especially with his being minus one. I don't really see it staying in here. I'm going to hard swap into Shen Pao. Get it cooking. Are they going to swap their Palfin as well? Double Dolphin swap? Yeah, double Dolphin swap. <laughs> I seen that from the from the moment I looked at his team. I'm just like, we're going to both bring out Palfin. We're both going to swap it. We're going to kind of go from there. But a really, really solid Arcanine swap from him. Really solid Arcanine swap. But if I get a burn on his Corvette, that could be really solid for us. Corvo ends up protecting. Okay. Okay, Corvo, I feel you. I see you. Um, I feel like I just might still throw a Will-O-Wisp. Or do I just swap Arcanine? I feel like maybe just swap an Arcanine into a Pokemon like Palafin could be good. Um, and then maybe just throwing like a Secret Sword Ice Spinner into Corviknight slot. I mean, Corviknight's rather bulky. Corviknight is rather bulky, which is a little bit of a problem. So we're going to see how much this Ice Spinner can do. And we're just going to go into Palafin. Nice, lovely Palafin. So we'll save our Intimidate for later, but I know this match is going to be a problem for us. going to be tough for us. Corviknight, hmm, going to be so bad. 
I need to find, I need to figure out ways to kind of go around this. Maybe I can just start throwing wave crash into it. But he opts to terrestrialize. Is that Corvo? Who are you terrestrializing here? It is going to be Corvo into what typing? Fire. Wow. Really good typing. Really good typing for my Shen Pao. But with Palfin on the field, I really like it. Let's see what he ends up doing here. Ice Spinner is going to do like minimal damage. He's probably going into like an Iron Head to kind of get rid of me. Or no, Flare Blitz. So mean recoil, we're gonna sash up here. And we'll go from there. So Palfin's gonna be really good for us. Are you double down to Shen Pao here? There's a possibility. He's gonna tailwind. Okay, so Jet Punch is our best friend. Who do we jet punch down? Probably Arcanine, right? We just get rid of Arcanine. So I think Corviknight's more so the protector here. I think Corviknight's gonna be the Pokemon to protect. So I'm just gonna sucker punch here. And I'm just gonna jet punch. Actually, let's protect Shen Pao. I want more turns of having that defense drop, so... I'd rather just protect Shen Pao here. Jet Punch into you, and then get after it. We might swap Arcanine. Arcanine's the protector! Arcanine's protecting! Or are you double protecting? Arcanine's protecting! I think he's gonna swap Arcanine next turn. I really do. I really see Arcanine swapping next turn. Into baby, potentially Palafin. Wow, yo, this is, we're getting hammered here. We're getting hammered. Arcanine's 100% swapping this turn. Arcanine is definitely swapping this turn. At this point, I'm going to Sacred Sword this slot, just in case he wants to swap it. Now I'm just going to go for the Jet Punch in the Corviknight slot. It might not protect. East speed. Oh, we actually stayed in there with that. Jet Punch should KO, right? Cool, we get rid of you. I like this. Okay. So he ends up not swapping Arcanine. I'm surprised by that, knowing that we were throwing Jet Punches. And I'm really happy that he didn't predict the cool overnight that turn. The Sacred Sword coming out here. Chipping off some nice damage. Um, hmm. I could swap back into Arcanine here. Probably more so my play, right? Try to start wasting out these, these turns as well. This is terrible. How many turns left in tail? One. So yeah, swapping the... Shen Pao protecting my Palafin. Probably my play. Yeah, let's go into Arcanine. Get that Intimidate. And then just protect this turn. Just so I can get off Intimidate and last but not least, waste out that Tailwind. Because speed is a huge factor for us. Speed is a lovely factor for us. So you get the swap. We might have to Thrasilize our Arcanine. Start throwing some burns around the field. So we get off the Intimidates, hopefully the Jet Punch is not coming into, into my Arcanine slot, because that could be a problem. Hopefully it's the E-Speed. Let's see. Yeah, it's the E-Speed. So that works. Jet Punch should be coming into my Palafin. It is. Okay. Alright, Jeans. Alright, I feel you. I feel you. Tailwind is gone. I got a Terrasilize Arky here. And I'm going to throw a Burn on the Palafin. And do I swap here? Like, I want to Jet Punch Arcanine, but Arcanine's just going to be able to hit me hard here. I could actually hard swap. Into Dragapult, knowing the E-Speed's coming after me. Like, I know the E-Speed's coming after that slot. I'm going to I'm gonna save my... I'm going to save my Palafin. We know the E-Speed's coming after me. I know the E-Speed's coming after me. Because he's going to look to Jet Punch my Arcanine and, and E-Speed my uh, Palafin. So going into Dragapult is gonna be a, gonna be a great call for us, right? I feel like that's a good read, right? I feel like that's a really solid read there. So we opted to Rasslize. You into Flying. I'd rather have you Grass, but Flying will have to do here. We just don't want to be super effective with Water Shots right now. Arcanine ends up protecting. Okay, and what's your player? Are you still Jet Punching? I will protect. Okay. <laughs> Double protect. I don't mind that. I, I really don't mind the double protect. I mean, we keep our Palafin. Um, hmm. I think I still go for the burn onto his Palafin. And I end up just dragon darts in here. I could swap into... Oh, yeah. That might be our play. I really like that play more than anything. No, because then that drops my defense. I don't want to do that. I was going to say, I can swap into... I could swap into uh, what's called here. But I'm just going to... I'm just going to Phantom Force away. Yeah. 
I'm just gonna Phantom Force into the Palafin. I'm dipping out of here. I was gonna say, I could swap into Shen Pal from the Arcanine slap, but that would lower my Dragapult's defense. Oh, we dodged attacks now. We dodged in attacks. But yeah, if I would lower defense, he would have jet punched my Dragapult. That could have been a real problem. Yo, we're having some good battles in the ninth ladder today. If I dip out of here, he opts to go for the wave crash here. We're gonna be able to serve pretty well. Yeah, he's minus one plus the burn on him. I really like that. I really do like that. The burn's slowly chucking up some damage from here. I feel like now we just start chipping away here. Or I could swap. But yeah, I'm just gonna start chipping away from this Arcanine slot. Slowly but surely. Now would have been probably the time to bring out what's it called? But we're choice ban. I think choice ban could take out the Palafin. I was gonna say maybe we should have brought a Shen Pao here. But E Speed does a nice little little chunk of damage. Phantom Force coming hot here. Not gonna be able to pick up the KO, but still really good damage there. Will O Wisp is gonna go into my Dragon Colt. Okay. I mean I could I could deal with that. If I can if I can get rid of Palafin, I really like what we're seeing, right? Let's see what he ends up doing. He ends up wave crashing into me. That's fine. We can soak that. All day. All day. You're gonna take a little bit of recoil. Burn damage gonna come out here. And we know he's jet punching. We know he is jet punching. We know he's gonna jet punch. Actually, I could E-speed and actually get around that. Which is gonna be my play. And then do I swap pole just for a better move? Yo, look at my team. Very low HP. I guess we'll stay into a Phantom Force here. Because this is super protect. I, I, I feel good about this one. I'm feeling really good about this one. Because E-speed has priority it's like double priority in a first turn priority so it should have priority over the jet punch which is really good it's gonna take out the palafin we're not worrying about a jet punch coming in here and we're gonna go from there because i'm gonna banish before arcanine even does anything and we're just gonna hope that arcanine just goes after uh dragon bolt because arcanine will be dead next turn and then i have shen pal still out in the field actually he's just gonna kill itself with flare blitz so that's fine you dead to this? Oh, you get a burn. You lucky little biscuit. Everybody's burned today. Dragapult, Arcanine, their Palafin. You die to that? No, we didn't die to that. Okay. Okay, okay. So from here, if it's a physical attacker, I'm going to try to burn it. And it's actually just Flutter Mane. So Flutter Mane, I'm going to Sucker Punch. I'm going to Jet Punch next turn. We pretty much can lock this one down, right? We are killing it, yo. Good place for us to actually keep our Palfin and Shen Pao. Even though they were low HP, I knew that the first turn priority would come in the back end really, really well. So, I really like where we're sitting. So, from here, I'm just going to go for a Flare Blitz. I'm going to try to get off as much damage as I possibly can. Arcanine ends up protecting, but Phantom Force hits through Protect, which is really good. Amazing, some might say. Phantom Force says, see you later. He's probably like, yo, what? <laughs> He's probably like, is this dude hacking? Nah, yo. Phantom Force hits straight through Protect. But you're good. You're going to Gleam. Gleam comes out here. I still think we're fine, right? Sucker punch, jet punch, light work. He's probably, he's probably sitting here kind of forgetting who I had in the back end. And then when he sees, he's going to be like, come on, man. Come on, man. Let's see. Let's see if they just cancel. I highly doubt they just cancel, but we shall be chilling. Palvin comes out here. Chen Pal. You know what was a huge play for us, to be honest with you guys? Wasting out that Tailwind. That Corbin Knight actually terrestrializing in the fire. Because Corbin Knight's typing was phenomenal. It was really good, except for up against my Arcanine. But if we just brought Palafin, he could have really got some work done onto me. But Sucker Punch can come out here. We're also going to Jet Punch. The defense is down due to Shen Pao's ability. And we should just be able to two-shot this. No problem. There's all that damage. Jet Punch flying. See you later, Flutter Main. Ladies and gentlemen, I present you guys a 2-0 winning record. Come on, man. That's too easy. Let's hop into a third and final match. Look for that perfect record. Final match coming at you guys. And we're going up against a bunch of cool Pokemon on this team. Scizor, Garchomp, Tyranitar, Breloom, Gyarados, and Lycanroc. A lot of these Pokemon are my favorites of all time. Like Tyranitar, Breloom, Gyarados. They are just amazing. Same thing with the other three. Lycanroc, Garchomp, and Scizor. I'm loving this team. But weather is going to be a problem. Titar, Lycanroc could definitely be elite here. So, again, that could be a problem. Do I lead a Pokemon like Arcanine, even though it's weak to rock? Probably not, right? Probably not. They have an Intimidate source here, too. This one seems like it could be really, really a problem for us. I feel like I need my Palafin, so I'm going to end up leading the Palafin. And I'm going to end up leading the Shen Pao here as well. So, Shen Pao, Palafin are going to come out here for us. I can really get down with that. And then in the back end, I'm going to ring Fluttermane. 
I like Fluttermane up against a lot of these Pokemon except for Scizor. And then kind of something to get rid of the Scizor would be Arcanine, or do I just bring Dragon Ball? Because Dragon Ball's not bad up against Scizor either. And it's not too bad. I mean, Phantom Force can obviously do a good amount of damage. We have Terra Blast with Steel. Uh, I like Arcanine. I like the Intimidate. So I'm going to go Arcanine here. Let's lock it in. Let's get after it. But I'm hoping that he leads Lycanroc Titar. And I know Lycanroc, for the most part, does not rock protect on their moveset. So I was thinking it's just Sucker Punching and uh, Jet Punching into it, even with Palafin. <coughs> Excuse me, guys. Quick sneeze. But even with Palafin being a dolphin form. So I could Terrasize Shin Pao. I don't like the, the, the bull punch being able to come here. But I think just doing this and... Do I Terrasize you? Yeah, I really like that. And then just Sucker Punch and Lycanroc. I feel like just double down into a supply. I'm not dealing with the Jet or the bull punches coming into my Palafin. But yeah, with Shen Pao on the field, we can do a ton of damage with Jet Punch, so. And I know Lycan Rock is Sash, that's why I've doubled down into it. We just know this already. We know these things. Sucker Punch comes out of here. What are you doing? What move are you using? Lycan Rock, what move are you using? I know you're Sash, but what move are you using? You're gonna taunt me? What you think I was doing? What was the taunt for? What did you think my Palafin was doing? New sources. Oh, now I can't haze. Okay. I feel you. I feel you. So from here, uh, this is where I hard swap you into you. And I just go into maybe like a, do I, who do I, do I finish off like rock here? Yeah, this is in case he swaps into T-Tar too. I'm gonna go ahead and Sacred Sword into it. You taunt. Okay, that was weird, but oddly very awesome. Right? You taunted me so I couldn't use the Haze and then Sword Sans your Scissor. Scissor's now plus one because we intimidated it. And Lycanroc, this Lycanroc has protect. Wow. Really cool. So we're probably gonna see a Terrasalization from the Scissor here, right? It's, it's not gonna stay steel. A lot of damage. That is a lot of damage for no reason. For no reason. But I'm just gonna E speed. And do I sucker punch? Do I ice spinner? I might just ice spinner into this thing. I'm gonna sucker punch the scissor. Actually, no, because if bull punch outspeeds, which it shouldn't, it shouldn't, so. I'm gonna go for sucker punch. He's gonna opt to terrasize, and this is why I was gonna ice spinner. This is an odd matchup. This is really weird for me, right? This is really weird. So he stays steel. He just wants to B punch me, right? He just wants to B punch me. So E speed's gonna KO, like and rock. This is weird. This is weird to me, this match. I don't know why. I just feel like everything's happening a little weird. Is he gonna bull punch me? I'm gonna be able to sucker punch first and do some nice damage. Just some lovely damage. Bull punch flies out here. And I don't really understand it, the Terra. I guess just for more damage. Makes sense now. But still, I can Sucker Punch take him out whenever I want. The problem is going to be if he brings out Titar, Weather could just... You could double protect and KO me, right? That would be a problem. But I still have Palf in the back end, which I really like. And no, Gyarados can come out here. So Gary the Gyarados comes out here. I'm going to try to Will-O-Wisp it down. And if he stays in here, we're going to Sucker Punch it. Or should I just Sucker Punch the Gyarados? I feel like I have to play it safe, even though Scissor's gonna protect. Yeah, I should have just ice like, spinner to Gyarados. I feel like I had to play it safe more than anything. So Sucker Punch gets blocked. I had to I had to play it safe there. Considering I'm gonna land this Will O'Wisp, which is big. That's big time Will O'Wisp. Hopefully no Lumberry. Fingers are crossed for the no Lumberry. No Lumberry gang right here. Cool, no Lumberry. Awesome. So yeah, I should have just Sucker Punch into uh Gyarados. Would have been ten times better for us. But now I can just bring out Palafin. And Palafin should be faster than Scissor. Jet Punch should be able to finish it off. So, that's cool. Oh, and you're Moxie. I should have known that considering Intimidate. I was going to ask. I was going to be like, yo, where did Intimidate go? Because I didn't see it come out onto the field. I did not see it. So, Moxie just boosts his attack. I could just go into Dragapult here. Or not Dragapult, Flutter Mane. Nah, Steel is just too much for us. We have to get rid of that. We have to get rid of that, uh, this Scissor. It's just a problem, right? Too much of a problem for me. 
too much of a problem. So I'm just going to E-Speed, do as much damage as I can onto the Gyarados, and I'm going to just Jet Punch right into you. Jet Punch should KO. Even without Shen Pao, I think it KOs the Scissor. Scissor is a bit bulkier on the defensive side. I'll give it to it, but a Jet Punch from Palafin, I don't see it really eating up at half health. Below half health. Come on. So he ends up with Jaw and Scissors, which is good about Jet Punch. It's still going to hit his, this opponent. He's going to bring out T-Tar. Okay, so big time damage coming onto T-Tar. I like it a lot. A lot. I like it a lot. E speed's gonna fly. A little bit of damage on the Gary. Jet Punch gonna fly. Big time damage on the Titar. And he's gonna taunt my Arcanine. I'm done burning. I don't need it anymore. Plus, you're. I don't know what the point of the taunt was there. I am safety goggles, aren't I? Which is really good. But he just wanted to taunt me just to get rid of that, uh. The burns, right? That's fine. Alright. So from here, hmm. I guess we're just gonna E-Speed again, right? E-Speed Jet Punch? Gotta be your play. It's gotta be your play. This seems too too simple, right? Yeah. E-Speed into Gyarados. Keep chipping up damage. And this match seems like we got it on lock, right? Finish off T-Tar here. We're gonna Jet Punch again into that slot because, you know, Scizor is there and he's really our only Pokemon that we need to get rid of. And Gyarados, I'm not worried about. Gyarados, I am not worried about. Gyarados will eventually die to one of my Pokemon. Right. So with Scissor on the field, I'm gonna bring out Fluttermane. I still have Terra, don't I? No, I use it on Chen Pao. I use it on Chen Pao. But Palfin outspeeds Scissor even if it's using Bull Punch, I believe. If I'm if I'm using Jet Punch, so I'm just gonna constantly Jet Punch in that slot and just start throwing beams out onto the field. Let's do it. So Fluttermane, I thought Fluttermane would be a good Pokemon for here, which it is. It was a great Pokemon for this battle, up against everybody except for the Scissor. So, now with Scissor here in the back end, it kind of sucks, but we'll deal with it. We'll deal with it. So I get my special attack boosted up. I am going to throw... I might just throw a Shadow Ball. No. You know what? I'm just going to stick in my guns. I'm going to move uh, Dazzling Gleam. I'm going to Jet Punch Scissor Slot. And he's going to Helping Hand. Helping Hand Garage. Can my Jet Punch just outspeed, right? It does, yeah. Like, like I thought. Like I thought. We get rid of Scissor, no problem. Dazzling Gleam is now going to fly. Ladies and gentlemen, I told you guys I was going to make up for yesterday's uh, bad plays. We went 3-0 for today's video. Perfect record with this amazing team. I absolutely loved it, and I absolutely love the Palafin. Like I told you guys, I was making it up. 3-0 absolutely dominate today's video with Dragapult and Palafin. Love these two Pokemon, especially paired up with Shen Pao. They were just doing ridiculous amount of damage and winning us matches. But guys, that is going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know when all of my videos go live. Seriously, you guys rock out. Make sure you spread this positive every day. I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out, everybody.